That's all right. I don't know who that is. Is that new? What are, you, what are we looking at there, fellas? It's a picture of his dick. Oh. <laughs> it's new? Just got it. Yeah, it's black. So I was like, <laughs> Wait, uh, Steve Ranzini? Uh, Ranzisi. Wait, put the, is, is his mic on? Oh. Uh, it should be. Oh, what okay. the hell happened there? Ranzisi? Ranzisi. I don't know him. He's from the league. A very I love that show. Wait, he made uh, the New York Times. Oh, yeah, here's the story. So what's the story? He uh, he told people he he escaped on 9/11. Yeah, he escaped from the World Trade Center. And now he had to, had to admit he lied. Ew. You know what's crazy? Why the fuck I would he say this? Fucking, I'm a big fan of his, and I actually uh, I tweeted him, I'd say two or three years ago, and I tweeted him saying, "Hey, heard you got into comedy because of 9/11. Uh, I think that's really cool." And then he tweeted me back. Something like that, and I was always like, "What? What a weird response!" Yeah, there's a weird something like that. Something like that. It's and kind I of a shitty like, response. I was like, "That was weird," <clears throat> but he's an extremely funny dude. That's why so, that, that this article kind of sucks. Who called him out on this? He admitted it. Because oh, why, why, which why was after cool. All this, uh, after all oh, this, he didn't uh, get caught. No, someone brought it up. I, I, somebody brought it up again. Was like. I heard you got a, you escaped the the towers, and uh, you mentioned in an interview in like '09, and he was like, "Yeah, I, I don't know why I said that." He's oh like, yeah, because he he uh... was that the first time he said it in '09. Yeah, he said it in '09, right when he I feel like that's when his career kind of started popping, and then it Ugh. went away, and and he said he always felt bad for saying it. He described being on the 54th floor of the South Tower as an employee of Merrill Lynch when the planes hit the North Tower. He gave an account during an appearance on Mark Maron's podcast 2009. Merrill Lynch did not have offices in the World Trade Center uh, in 2001. There's no record of, of his employment. You know what? Let me just call my dad and see if he's just there. Oh, 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 wait, oh, oh, wait a minute. So, that happens sometimes. Don't, don't do it. So wait a minute. He just made up Merrill Lynch. Why didn't Marin fact check him? Yeah. <laughs> wow, what a fucking dick. That's weird. Who makes? I've lied in interview like little things. Yeah, you lie about little shit. You That's know what the, I mean? Like, how's the show gonna be? I'll say good. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be hilarious. Yeah. Oh, and a lot of new stuff, and then they show up, and it's the same old business. Yeah, that's one of those uh, that you. That's a hole you can't really dig yourself out of. Oh, I lied about being in a tower. Fuck you. He was in Midtown at the time, actually working in Midtown that day. So was he a Merrill Lynch employee or not? And not for no. and not for Merrill Lynch, which has no record of his employment and had no offices in either tower. Can we hear that from the Marin podcast? I'm the only 9/11 kid here. Uh. Nobody else in comedy can be the 9/11 boy. <laughs> Back the fuck off, Steve. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm the 9 11 kid! I'm the 9 11 kid! I like uh. the other 9 11 boy. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like we just got a SNL preview. <laughs> <laughs> wow, baby. Jesus. Uh, yeah, we'll. we'll I want to hear that. Wow. And what, what made we'll him. We'll find the clip from um, uh, Mark Maron's podcast. And he told the story for the first time in the 54. Uh, in the. Uh... 2009. Wow. I think. That's what Pete later. said, right? Uh, yeah, 09. 09. Yeah, we'll get to the bottom of that. What's the deal here? You got a comedian who said he was in the towers and escaped that day. Turns out he was not, and he finally admitted that he made it. Let all me up. clarify, Ope. I sure. said <laughs> that I was looking at them the day before. Uh, I worked in Merrill Lynch for a year and a half as an accountant or broker. No, I was an account manager, which basically meant I was the liaison between the brokers and the clients. I would take people out to lunch. Take Can you out pause to this? If he's making this up, he has a tremendous mental illness. Yeah. To get that deep into it, I was a liaison. If you right. use the word liaison in a lie, you're a fucking psychopath. I don't even know what liaison means. It's kind of creepy. Yes, it's like yeah. loser Rooney. Yeah. Yeah. I was a real loser Rooney at Merrill Rinch. Yes. <laughs> Merrill, Merrill, Merrill Rinch. Rinch. Merrill Rinch. Merrill Rinch. I, I can't speak. Oh, you motherfucker! <laughs> use your L's properly! <laughs> 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 the motherfucker saying short company name right. What do you say? Ritual of Omaha? <laughs> it's base balls, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Pluralize your motherfucker. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> party starter. Sort of the party starter of Merrill Lynch, yeah. Until our building got hit with a plane and. Oh, Christ. Uh, yeah. When did that happen? 
<laughs> the party ended right there. That's uh, yeah, yeah. That's where the part. I worked on the the fifty fourth floor of the second tower. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Did you have? No, I mean, get the fuck day? out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No one's buying this. Yeah. yeah. You're lying. Get out of here. You're lying. There was no fifty fourth floor. It went from forty to seventy. <laughs> 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 it was an oversight. <laughs> this is creepy. Yeah. I, yeah. I was there, and then the first tower got hit, and we were like, you know, jostled all over the place. And then jostled. Hold on. That's how you know he wasn't in there. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Jostled. You know, we just shook around a little. What bit. happened on nine eleven? Do you know those little snow globes? Are all of a sudden, I saw it going, and the snow was all over the goddamn place. Uh, well, I pissed on the seat. <laughs> My coffee mug fell. Oh, the building was being jostled to and fro. I got out of there. Came on the loudspeaker, and they were like, "Hey, uh, explosion in Tower One." Um, Things are being taken care of. Everyone remain where you are. Stay calm. We're, we're figuring things out. And uh, Ugh, I was like, well, I'm going to go check this thing out. So I went downstairs. What an walked ass. Walked outside, uh, saw all the pandemonium. And then about five or six minutes later, and then it just whoosh, bang. While you were standing right there. Well, it was like underneath that giant overpass oh, that God. was overhanging. Oh, that was right Overpass, yeah. overhang, just making up as he goes oh, along. Oh, my God. What a fucking creepy. douche. Oh, your coworkers were upstairs. Yeah, but I, 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 you know, I don't know. I couldn't tell exactly where it went in, so I had no right. idea. Right. So I called up to the office, and they were like, it was pandemonium. Like we're on our way down, we're on our way down, and then I just started. Yeah, they answered the phone up. after a fucking plane went through the. Building. Yeah, I called you upstairs. Idiot. Hey, what's going on? Ah, no, we're just looking down at the plane. We'll be down shortly. I just got to wrap yeah. up this accounts meeting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hello, Merrill Lynch. May I help you? Uh, can you send up a parachute? Because there's no fucking elevator that can go down. Yeah. Hey, what are you guys doing? Your motherfucker plane hit the building. <laughs> Don't turn the water off. Oh, I hate plane. <laughs> I hate play. Yeah. Fucking it. Oh my god. And I got to about West Broadway when I stopped and West uh Broadway. caught my breath and then they watched the second That's tower funny. fall. Our tower fell first. This guy even live in New yeah, York? Yeah. He just makes this whole thing up. What happened? I made a left on Vessi and I ran into Jersey. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, the second one that got hit was the first one to fall and then cuz it was the impact was lower, so there was more weight on top, I think, is where, you the way it was described up? to me. Yeah, well, there's a lot of people that listen to my podcast who would say, uh, that well, the you government did it. Yeah, you that you weren't in shit. there? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I can imagine. Yeah, the government did it. But you were there, and you saw all that, and, and like, uh, I, we had no idea. I Literally, as far as that's, that's concerned. No, I I had, had, now that you know he's lying, oh, though, listening to him just fish around, I couldn't tell. There's windows broken. I, there was mugs knocked to and fro. I'm thinking if he told this story on our show, if we we would have went with it. No I, one. I don't, said, I don't hear anything well, in here because, where I would go. Wait a minute. Yeah. You can't. You can't fucking trump someone's nine eleven. I know. Story. Right. You know? Well, I have one. Titanic. But go ahead. Uh, but you, I was you in the Hindenburg. So, you, say, you sound like an asshole if you question this shit. It was a cold night. Yeah, you're an asshole if you're like. You That's know, what plays into this too. Yeah. You, you. You look like a fucking asshole if you question. What's it. really right. sad is I still hate Justin more than this guy. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. That's, you know, that's because Justin that's because Justin looks like the woman who wasn't there. Yeah. Right, go back to this. <laughs> no idea what was going on till three hours into it. I just thought it was two drunk idiots. I didn't couldn't tell the Hold size on a second. Of the, uh, uh, well now I'd be Now like, he's fought you yeah, thought two yeah. alcoholic pilots hit the the towers and you didn't know till three hours later? Yeah, no, that's Yeah. <laughs> three hours later just being like I think they were all drunk. Yeah, there was a <laughs> drunk driving accident. <laughs> what a bunch of hooligans. Yeah, my building <laughs> Guess fell. I don't have to go to work for a little bit. Yeah, the drunk drivers <laughs> knocked the building over. I couldn't <laughs> believe I it. Couldn't believe. You know, a lot of things I guessed on that day. Drunk driving was not one yeah, of no, them. No, that wouldn't be your first thought. No, exactly. Planes or anything like that. I just was you like, thought, really, it was two drunk idiots? Like, they were up there the going, second oh, time, well, they yeah. this. The second time, I was like, well, I, something's going on here. But I, it, like, it did not dawn on me that. And why didn't you know for three hours when the, when the one hit, like, you know, 20 minutes later? Mm -hmm. Fucking shock. I mean, for fuck's sake. I mean, walking how... across the Brooklyn Bridge, like, it was uh, literally 100,000 people. Across the Brooklyn Bridge. Elijah's here? Fuck out of here. Oh, this is really good, though. So we'll bring him Fuck. in. We'll... Should I have him wait a minute? No, bring him in. We'll talk to him about this with this, the whole fucking thing. It's a different motive. <laughs> we were just listening to the 
audio of a guy who was a comedian who pretty successful comic. Just I didn't know who he was, but he just he lied about being in one of the towers on 9/11 and he just I just saw that it. online. Yeah. Yeah, New York Times. Really and bizarre. why would you do that? I on Mar- you know Mark Maron's podcast, it just kind of came out, I Wait, guess. It, so it came out in conversation. It wasn't like a bit he was doing. Oh no. He was, was being interviewed by Mark. Oh, it was a genuine statement. He was being very serious. And he's got details. It's kind of creepy. We were listening to it right before you got in. He said why like would yeah, you, you want to hear a little bit of I it? I do actually. Okay. I'm just under- actually, I want to understand why he would do something like that. The guy was from uh, FX and you're here. Your show was on FX, right? Yeah. So did you know him from there? You know What's his guy? name? It's uh Steve Renazizi. I don't know him. He's on the league. The name is very oh, okay. familiar. I, I he's know on the him. league. On he the, was league. In the first Paul Blart. This is gonna this is gonna fuck up his career. It's gonna totally fuck up. This his is career. gonna like follow him. Yeah, this is yeah. something in this, this is not a public shaming thing. There's something about when you publicly lie about being attached to 9-11 and you weren't. It's like, ugh. What are you doing? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I want to hear this. I'm curious what the this context is. Part, is. This is in the middle of his explanation. But uh, I mean, he's just told Mark, I was a liaison. I worked on the 54th floor. And now that you know he's lying, it kind of sounds like, yeah, the building jostled. He's just using terms that you probably wouldn't have And he was, he was down on... Yeah, it was weird. Yeah, he was calling back up to the office because he was kind of out of the building. What? I, so it's the intention behind this to have some sort of, like... Sympathy? A story? Sympathy yeah, but he already having... fucking, like, popped at this point. That's why I don't know why... I like, don't know. Yeah, why would you like, do it? I can it? understand if, like, you had nothing... You're like an old comic, and you're like, I was in the bill, but like, he he was fine. And yeah, I, like if Rickles came out and said, I was there, you're like, all right, we all get right. it. You're yeah. <laughs> and Elijah, full disclosure, Pete lost his dad for real in 9 11. So, you? yes, yeah. that's what Pete oh, says. Oh man, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, that's right. So, this it's just a weird he he brought this to our attention, actually. It's just like a weird because he's funny, that's why it's like it sucks. Yeah, let's let's push play here. People, oh, this is the best. Before that, I, a cab pulls up and I'm like, all right, I'm out. Let's go. And he's like, five hundred dollars to Brooklyn, and I was like, what? And he was like, yeah, I can only make one trip out. They're shutting the island down. And these two brokers got lies? in and jumped in the car and took you off. Paid it? I didn't pay it. I was like, I've, what? Five hundred dollars? I'm an accounts manager. I'm a party yeah, starter. Yeah, I'm, the, I'm the party starter. <laughs> you guys pay. I'll sit in the front seat and tell some jokes. <laughs> oh God, man. But oh, yeah, man. I was like, even in even in times of. Of strife, <laughs> it's how, still. How just... much did it fuck you up? I mean, mentally, because my ex-wife oh, was go. down there. She worked close by. Yeah, and she was traumatized. I mean, outside of being married I to me, I still had dreams of like oh. you know those falling dreams. My wife, oh, who was man. my girlfriend at the That's time, that's really sad. Worked on the twenty-fourth floor, and I didn't know where she was for like seven hours, six hours. No way! And so she's probably in watch. Jersey, where you are, <laughs> stupid, <laughs> watching it on TV. Exactly. None, the rest of, of us. none of this is true. Is that none? What it is? None of it. None, he just none. came, but, but it was a weird thing. He, it's almost like we all daydream. Like I talk to myself a lot in the house, and I just make up scenarios for myself. I'm a weird person. Maybe he does the same thing, and all of a sudden, in the conversation, he was tired, and it just started happening. Yeah. And he can't pull back because he's already... But those are really broad stroke Speci- lies, man. <laughs> and you, very specific. Once you say, I was in one of the towers <laughs> when it got hit, and someone goes, what? You can't go, oh, no, that wasn't me. <laughs> you're, you're in. You're, you're in. in it. You're Even all in. about the... April Fives! <laughs> <laughs> But even like the thing about the cab, like that's yeah. so specific and detailed. Yeah. I don't, but if you asked him a follow-up, really liars, like if you said to him, what happened with the cab? He'd probably be like, oh, dude, I just, but then anyone would have just moved like he, they, they fall apart when you ask for specifics in their lives. Right. But he asked him specifically about how traumatic it was. And he actually was able to get into that. I, that that's really disturbing. Let's, let's well, he play said, a little more. Yeah. He said little. his wife was on the 30th floor. He was on the 54th. And it looks like Beverly Lynch did not have a 54th floor office in the trade center. You think they just made up a floor? Uh, wow. I think so. Yeah. So I got, I'd walked home and then got to my apartment, caught my breath, you know, watched the news, and then about three, an hour goes by, two hours, no her. And I'm like, oh, I, now I have to call her parent and tell her she's dead. And uh, she comes walking to the door. What happened was she was on the subway in, and she was underneath the water. So because the, the Trade Center was the first stop in, in Manhattan, they uh. had to back out all the subways. So she hadn't even gotten to work yet. She was stuck in the subway Thank underneath. Thank God. They didn't even know what was going on. Oh, well, what does that say? That bitch, she's late all the time. <laughs> God. So it's not even true about his wife. Not, none that, of this. But who, that, that part oh, might maybe, be true. That part maybe. might be true. You but never now know. Now it just yeah, makes her true. look maybe. like a twat, too. At, yeah. par- at parties, you just hate... That he had, that she had the better story. She's probably like, yeah, I was on the train. And then one day he was probably like, yeah, I wish I was involved. It's like, fuck that. I'll, I'll, I'll trump that story. I'd love to know what the mentality is behind this because he might be a good guy. Like, but what, what is it that would make you do this? I've lied about other stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. pull out. 
Yeah. <laughs> sure, I'll tell you. <laughs> uh huh. Got you. But yeah. Why he, you? He you also, think you could get away with that? I don't know. He also just became a big spokesman for Buffalo Wild Wings. Oh boy, Ugh. that's going away. That's gonna go away. Well, you don't know. Yeah. I mean, Buffalo should... Wild Wings isn't the most. Uh, Politically correct place <laughs> if you've ever been in a Buffalo Wild Wings. This uh, this uh, Steve uh, Ranzini's Twitter. I have his tweets. Yep. Yeah, we he's, got a, him he's too. explaining. What's he saying? Uh, uh, as a young man, I made a mistake that I deeply regret. And I apologize. I was there on the tenth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, for which apologies may still not be enough. After I moved with my wife to Los Angeles from New York City, a uh, bragger, uh, in 2001, shortly after 9-11, I told people that I was in one of the World Trade Center towers on 9-11. Oh, so he was also, doing it back then. This narrative has existed for him for a while. Though. Yeah, this is yeah. a 15-year fucking thing that he knew was going to explode He's eventually. in for the long ruse. It wasn't... How Do you think he had this saved in his drafts for like six years? <laughs> <laughs> It's like, well, today's the day, honey. <laughs> Send. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I was in Manhattan, but working in a building in Midtown and was not at the Trade Center on that day. I don't know why I said this. This was inexcusable. I'm truly, truly sorry. For many years, more than anything, I have wished that silence, uh, with silence, I could somehow erase a story told by an immature young man. You're fucking 30, dude. It only made me more ashamed. How could I tell my children to be honest when I hadn't come clean about this? Uh, it is to the victims of 9-11 and to the people that love them and the people that love me that I ask for forgiveness. I mean, There's two more. Those are the two new ones? Yep. Psych. <laughs> Psych, suck my dick. Watch the league season seven. <laughs> uh, oh, and a special comes out on fucking Friday. Oh, oh, good timing. Good, really great timing. Watch my special. It's an interesting thing, this, you know, we live in a very public world now. Yeah, like, you, I wonder how many people lied about shit back then and just didn't have a twit. Like, you right. can't really figure sure. it out, you right. know? The one negative to this is, like, look, okay, it's great. You know, it's come out. People, he's he's apologizing publicly. There's a forum for which he can apologize for it. But he's not but, sorry. He's but sorry there is caught. this thing that's a little dangerous about the internet where there's this sort of, like, mob mentality Oh, that's, you think? That's un, that's a little unfair. <laughs> Even if someone's done something heinous, yeah. it can get to the point where, you know, it becomes harmful to their life um, based on just one stupid mistake because people just start to shame them. Oh, it, makes, did, it makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, but did this he is one caught? of those where it's like... Fuck you, dude. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, in, in a way. Totally. There, I would say totally. 70% of stories that come yeah. out are like, all right. Yeah. Did, 